What's going on, Smooth Gang? It's your boy Trucker Smooth coming to y'all with another video, man. Hey, what's going on, y'all, man? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If this is your first time to my channel, man. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, man. We at 3K. We at 3K. Let's go. We at 3K, man. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm getting up there, man. I'm getting up there, man. I'm happy. Um, with that being said, stay tuned for one of these videos. Y'all know how I play when I do these giveaways now. So, pay attention. If you ain't, you know what I'm saying, it's your first time to my channel, this video brought you to my channel, make sure you subscribe because I do get, I do some good giveaways, man. We at 3K, so who knows? Who knows what the giveaway going to be, man? Who knows? But I know it's going to be good. But anyway, let's get into this video, man. We, If you read the title of this video, it's about fuel, man. Fuel. Saving a dollar on fuel, man. That is the biggest issue out here in the trucking game right now, especially to most of the new drivers i should say the new owner ops of your company driver this probably doesn't pertain to you unless your company charging for fuel and i don't know how that will work for you but um you can still watch this video and it'll probably help you out anyway because i know certain companies give points for fuel saving so this might help you out man um long story short there's a lot of people who've been sending in um videos and screenshots and asking questions and showing me their statements and stuff like that and they keep asking me where they're going wrong at you know once they get their settlement and i'm like i look at the settlement and i'm the first thing i see is fuel the very first thing i see is fuel i'm talking about ridiculous amount of fuel being used when you don't have to be used especially if you only did three loads for the week is no way you should have that amount of money used in fuel, I should say. Uh, with that being said, the biggest thing I see people do is idling their trucks when they don't have to. Like right now, I've been sitting in the same spot. Same spot. I'm in Cali right now. So air been go going up and down. You know, it's been getting cold, been getting hot, been getting cold, been getting hot. So I haven't ran my truck no more than 30 minutes for the whole time I've been sitting here reason me being sitting here is a uh, whole nother issue but i'm not idling my truck i got my windows cracked i got fans going on i'm comfortable and i even got the long sleeve on if y'all can see so with that being said man idling trucks is the biggest thing um that's why a lot of companies basically tell you or have that little cutoff switch where your truck only run for a couple minutes two three minutes and cut off it won't idle through the whole night because that burns a lot of fuel especially if you have an older truck even some of the newer trucks depending on what it is you know it's going to burn a lot of fuel so with that being said it's tips i have basically to not idle your truck so you can still at least sleep comfortably i'm gonna use the hot situation first that's how i sleep comfortably hot like in in the heat um so basically i'll crank my truck up turn the ac up to the max let the whole truck get cold i put my blinds my curtains up uh most of the peats that people who follow me they don't have the curtains that go up uh my wife india she bought some uh curtains for me um i put those up in the front to block most of the sun light out you know once I put those up, um, you can go to a TA, you can go to Petro, you can go to wherever and find these fans. Now, the ones I, I re require are the one with two, um, the one that comes with two fans on it due to the fact you can po point them in different directions so you can get airflow throughout the truck. So once you have the truck running and it's ice cold in your truck, turn those fans on blast. Well, you ain't got to blast them, but turn them on you basically and i guarantee you're gonna get i want to say a good five six hours depending on the night you know you might you get you get a long time of sleep without idling your truck that's going to help out from you idling your truck five six seven hours or the, your whole 10 hour shift then you go and drive you know you don't burnt up at least 
damn near 20 gallons of fuel sitting there idling for that long time. You might not think you are you burning that much fuel, but you are because sometimes your gauge will be sitting there and not moving. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you start driving, it should drop down and say you out of fuel. You know, that's that's the biggest thing. Now, dealing with the cold, um, I mean, yeah, in the cold, same thing. Go buy you one of those little space heaters from out of the truck stop or you can go to Walmart, wherever you want to go and get one of those heaters. So what you would do, what I do is I do the same thing. I heat my truck up this time. Let it, you know, be nice and toasty, whatever your preference is. And then I turn the heat on and I'm good for the whole night. I don't have to turn back on the truck, not when it's cold. Because if it do get a little cool in the truck, it don't bother me. Cover up with your blanket. I know most people idle their trucks due to the fact it's hot outside. Bro, crack them windows. Let that air in. Invest in one of the little screens. I think I showed it in one of my videos. It's some screens you could put in your window to have a, uh, you can let it down damn near halfway. And it blows the air in. It keeps out dust and bugs. So you can invest in some of those. The small investments I'm talking about, you can invest in, invest in is not equal to the amount of fuel you're going to use just by idling your truck. Now, um, another thing is, so basically we're going to go over all the tricks and stuff I've learned over the time on saving fuel. So we're just going to get into it. Biggest thing is idling. You can't idle. I don't care who you is. Don't idle your truck. You'll trust me. You'll find it out. Um, now, another thing is, most of you guys, um, I want to say, the lead foot guys, the lead foot guys uh, who just have to speed, um, y'all burning a lot of fuel by doing that, man. Now, don't get me wrong. Is is real? It takes a lot of discipline. To not hammer down on a, the gas pedal, you know, once the dude come up next to you, looking at you funny, and then mash the gas and then take off. You got to be di real disciplined. Me, I'm disciplined. I don't care. I'm going to get to the same. Sp Sometimes it be dudes fly past me. And we end up going at the same truck stop at the same time. Because they didn't stop two, three times or, you know. Whatever the case may be, we gon' you. The load is gonna get there, regardless. If you plan right, the load is gonna get there. You don't have to speed everywhere you're going. You hammering down the whole entire ride. I bet your MPG is looking real crappy. You wondering why you can't get no real good MPG. So, with that being said, guys who have the lead foots, man, slow it down. Slow it down. I've did a test run on that multiple times, and I noticed how much fuel. Um, I've saved on a trip where I usually, you know, will put a hundred gallons to do a load and I do the same distance of that load and, you know, do the speed limit or a little bit less and just put it on cruise control. And I only put 50 or 60 gallons in, you know, all that stuff adds up. All that, all that money adds up. I don't, I don't know what y'all think, but it adds up after a while. Cause instead of you putting a whole hundred gallons in the tank and if you only need it 60 whatever's left over could get you to your next your next load or you pick your next load every time i put gas in i want to tell you every time i put fuel in i should say it's for a load right now i'm sitting um usa uh times cut off at 12 midnight right but i'm in cali right now so it's a little early it's not 12 midnight here it is what 12 midnight cst so 12 11 10 over here 10 p.m the time resets so i'll put fuel after that because i know i have a low monday you get what i'm saying a lot of people mess up like that at usa they're putting fuel way before the, the cutoff time when they don't need it especially if you idling or you sitting and um sitting for your 34 or whatever the case may be don't put no fuel. Be real disciplined. Do not put no fuel before the cutoff time if you don't need it. If you don't need fuel, don't put it in. That goes back to the first thing I said when putting those uh, fans in your truck or whatever. you. It, it's okay to crank your truck up for a little bit, you know what I'm saying, for your battery to charge up or whatever the case may be. Fine. Crank it up. Once you see it get at a certain thing, cut it back off. 
just don't have your truck idling. Um, let's get to the big five. Now, everybody runs to the big five because it's the big five. I understand that. Um, but little do you know that the big five, nine times out of ten, they're going to be more expensive than a mom and pop shop. All around the board. It's going to be expensive from the things you buying in there, the food, showers, everything is more expensive because they're the big five. They, they're, they're mostly everywhere, I should say. So they're going to, they're, their prices are ridiculous. It's certain things you can go in there and buy Febreze. Febreze is $10. Febreze. Or certain little snacks you want, you know. Another reason I save money. I go to Walmart, load my truck up with all type, with everything I need. Only thing I go in the truck stop for is to walk my dog at a Love's, at a dog park. Um, get me an energy drink if I need it or coffee or whatever the case may be. But I don't, I really don't get fuel at the big, uh, big, big five like that. And if I do, it's just to get me to another truck stop where, you know, if I don't have enough fuel to get there, I just put a little bit to not break down. Let me be the one to tell you. If you don't know what I mean by that, it's an insider joke to Smooth Game. They know. I done broke down on 90. If you ain't see that video, go watch it. But um, the Big Five is just a real... I ain't going to say it's a scam, but it's ways to get around the Big Five. Because everybody probably be like, oh, what about the showers? I'm going to get my showers and this, this, and that. It's Bro, the, the money you're going to save by going to those mom and pop shops and... Um, Getting cheaper fuel, a shower, what, $15, $16, $17, $18, twenty, whatever it is, at whatever whatever truck stop you stop at. Um, the $15, you're going to save more than that going back to this bomb pop truck stop. Because I know everybody want to, oh, put the 50 gallons just to get much, get, no, you ain't got to do that. You don't have to do that. It's, I see some people putting 50 gallons in just for a shower. Think about that. You putting 200 something dollars, damn near 300 dollars in your tank just for a shower, a shower. That don't make no sense. So you wasting money basically just to get a shower when you could have paid the 15 dollars. You could have put the 30 in there or the 25 gallon you need to get to this mom and pop truck stop and only put in 180 instead of 300. All this money adds up. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. So. Another thing about the big five, um, getting your supplies there. Don't get your supplies there. I'm telling you, go to Walmart. Go to these mom and pop shops. The mom and pop truck stops will have better food sometimes. Sometimes, I ain't going to say so all the time, but sometimes. Majority of the time, they're going to have different food than what you're seeing at the big five. That's another reason I go to them. They be having like home, home restaurants where you could get a good meal. You know, a home home cook meal i should say that other than freaking rbs and god dang on uh carl juniors and I, the truck stops I, I i i drive past them to be honest with you i'll pull up in the mom and pop truck stop and it and chow down you know i got some real good food but other than that man um let's move on to something else uh what i use is uh i want to say apps the apps to use to find cheaper fuel and most of the, most of the time on these apps it's either gonna be a mom and pop truck stop or a regular gas station where trucks can pull up in not an actual truck stop so I use mud flap um, on a truck smarter app if any of you guys using truck smarter from USA um, if you ever go to a load let me see if I can show you if you ever go to a load um, I'm going to try to show you. Let me just pick any load in there to show you. All right. Y'all can see that. All right. So if you pick any load, just boom. Right there at the top, it's that, that, that uh, route is showing you. Any, let me see. Uh, no, nah, I want to use that one because it's not really showing. Um, that's the same route. Let me see. Let me scroll down. All right, right there. Right there. If you 
Let me see if we can focus on that. All right, so basically the route is showing you right there at the top. You can see the different, um, it's gonna show you mostly all the truck stops that's on that route with cheap fuel, the cheapest fuel on that route. So I use that too, and then I calculate it. I just sit there and watch what's what, cause some, you know, fuel changes, it's changed up and down. So on my way over there, that truck model app is, is like live. Um, I use mud flap, I use uh, fuel buddy, um, fuel buddy and, and you get points from fuel buddy, you know, you get points from mud flap. Anybody that joins mud flap and you giving them, um, if you send an invite to them, you get points for that. So you might pull up to a truck stop where it's uh 425 and you done invited two, three people. You feel me? Your fuel might be 380 after all of the points done added up. And then at that truck, it'll tell you what truck stop to go to, to get those, you know, bonuses or whatever. Um, fuel buddy, um, works kind of the same way. If you report cheap fuel, it gives you points for it. So, um, it's times where I done pulled up to a regular gas station. If I was at a shipper or something like that, just say I'm at a shipper right now and I would search the area. I done found a gas station, a regular gas station, um, where fuel is $3 and 40 cents or something like that. And the loves that's down the street from it is at $5. Or 525 or something like that. You gotta shop around, man. You your own business, so you have to do the work yourself. Nobody is gonna tell you, you know, hey, truck is smooth, man. It's some it's some fuel over there. It's hey, it's gonna fuel over there. Sometimes you gotta work. Sometimes somebody might get on the CB and say, hey, bro, it's true, it's uh fuel such and such on this route. Oh, another people from um another thing, people from USA. If you guys are not in the Facebook group, they do put um information in that facebook group i'm gonna keep promoting that because um there's a lot of information be getting passed through there like even fuel like i seen the other day where somebody said hey guys on uh i-40 gave the direct location this fuel stop i mean this truck stop over here this mom and pop truck stop got fuel for three dollars you know and if i'm passing through 40 i look like, oh yeah they say there's three dollars over here so i'm gonna go ahead and stop um Using these apps um, is very beneficial, man. It's very beneficial. So go ahead and download them if you ain't downloaded them by now. Get them on your phone. Um, it's probably some other apps out there. If they, if they are, drop them in the comments. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna touch back on the MPG, the miles per gallon, man, by by just cruising, because I drove from Ontario, California, to Washington which was a, a thousand something miles. And when I tell you, I was disciplined the entire time driving up there on not touching the gas, leaving it on cruise control. My fuel gauge, I mean, my not fuel gauge, but my MPG went up to 22 miles per gallon. 22 miles, you know what that is? Now, now I, I was at 35,000 pounds or something like that, probably a little less. You know, but that is freaking amazing to just drive. Like, I only put to do a thousand miles, and it's no BS. I I, I probably only put three hundred and fifty dollars to do that whole trip. And I mind you, I found cheap fuel. I found cheap fuel, but I put like three fifty in, and I did that whole entire trip. I think when I got there, I needed just a little bit more. Just a little bit more to get out the area, but I noticed when I canvassed the area on my map, I noticed it wasn't going to be no, uh, no other truck stop. So that's another thing you got to do. I um, canvassed the area and found out, you know, it wasn't going to be no truck stops where I'm going at, and I didn't want to be super low. And I ended up still being super low, but if you if you follow me on um, TikTok, uh, you'll see I just made a, a reel about that. I to put how far y'all think I could go. But in reality, y'all, I could tell y'all, I was literally right down the street from the truck stop. But anyway, I, I got a lot of miles per uh, And then I, I did the same thing. I repeated the same process coming back. Now, the load I had coming back was at 40, 43,000 pounds. And I had to go through mountains and everything like that. I noticed I had to put a little bit more fuel. I think I put like 425, 450 or something like that. But, and that was just because the mountains I had to go through. But, um... 
I noticed I like leaving it on cruise at 60 miles power and 55 miles power um, speed limit. I think I dropped it down like 58 sometimes, left it on cruise, and I still got like 13, 14 miles per gallon um, out of it, you know, which still is good because some people are clocking at six, five, you know, sometimes four, depending on what you're hauling. But leaving that on cruise control will help you out drastically, I should say. Um, let me see. Uh, another another way I save money and it benefits me is using my personal and business credit cards. Now, personal and business credit cards, you know, they're two, two different things. Your personal business card, I mean, your personal uh, credit card is for you, your social, your everything. That reflects you. Business is reflecting your business. We all know that. So I use both, both, both of them. Capital B, capital O, capital A, capital F. Both. Both? Both. I use both of them um, because I wanted to help out my real credit and I wanted to help out my business credit at the same time. Because if you go ahead and I use both throughout the week due to the fact I use one one day. Next time I need fuel, use the next one. Next time I need fuel, use the next one. You're going to see that. Using those instead of that calm data card or whatever the F the um F I can't even think of the damn name. The using that card, um, I'm lost over here, something distracted me. But um using those cards, you'll see that it it doesn't benefit you personally. It doesn't benefit you, it benefits the company. So by me using those cards, flip flopping them like that, I use them, I got utiliz utilization on both cards. You get what I'm saying? So it's helping out my personal credit and it's helping out my business credit. And you open up a bigger door for basically going to any truck stop. Any truck stop is going to take your business card. Any truck stop is going to take your personal credit card. So that defeats the purpose. I know it probably was a lot of questions. So what about the calm data? What if that company, what if that truck stop doesn't take calm data? Don't worry about that because you ain't going to be using their card. Don't use it simple as that don't use that card and watch how much money you start to save because all of the money that's being charged to your personal um and business credit cards you're not you're going to see all of the money on your check all of the money that just go back to your settlement right now pause the video go to your settlement and calculate all the money you used in fuel and then put that on top of your check what you would have had then you'll start seeing it now you're getting a bigger check now you're getting a bigger settlement you get what i'm saying once you start getting a bigger settlement, you could go ahead and back and pay, you know, because you're using your own money. So you go back and pay your uh, credit cards off, you know, and you're still getting a utilization on your cards. So now the companies, you know, your, especially your business, they that's what they want to see. They want to see that you're using the card. They don't care how you're using the card. They want to see you using it. So once you start using it, guess what? They start offering you a bigger um, credit line on both you you getting a bigger credit line on both both ends, so you go ahead and take that bigger credit line. Credit score going up, your points going up, the money that you're spending in fuel, depending on whatever company you with. Basically, um, just say I'm with Navy Federal. Navy Federal give me, um, I think it's like I don't want to be wrong, but I really think it's like uh the point system is a dollar for dollar or something like that. With the, not dollar for dollar, but a point. Per dollar or something like that so if i spend five thousand dollars in a month i have five thousand points um no i think it's two points for a dollar something like that ten thousand points that's an extra hundred something dollars i'm gonna probably have you feel me that's helping you out now if you use the, the uh calm data card you wouldn't have that that's an extra hundred dollars you could use that for food grocery whatever you wanted to use for or pay it back you can take convert it and uh, pay the bill so that's why I use that, you know, frequently as far as um, what cards I use because um, or you can use that money. Uh, it's so much you could do with that damn money. You get what I'm saying? And it's going to help you out. Let's just move on to the next thing. Um, maintenance on your truck. <sighs> Where to start at with the maintenance? First thing first is have your truck A1 at all times. If you got a problem on your truck, do not let it long go. 
because far it's the simplest thing keeping your filters changed that can help you save out on fuel um your fuel filter let that let that be the cleanest thing under there as far as saving fuel make sure it's um you keep your maintenance up or changes air filter especially the engine air filter because once that get clogged it start can't suck air in it's burning more fuel and your truck start running funny you burning more fuel than usual um let's move on to something else because that that's just pretty simple uh i wrote some stuff down by the way because i done did a take 50 of this video because my camera died one time um i started recording I don't know what happened to the chip. The chip just did some malfunction thing, told me I had to format. So I recorded 20 minutes of the video. And then I had to format it, delete everything to do this. So I wrote it down this time so I won't forget anything. Um, all right. This is one of the most important things. I think saving fuel can, this is what y'all need to tune into because I think my iPad doesn't have a calculator, but I'll just explain it. So, let me do it with this phone. What I do the most is my calculations, my percentages and all that stuff at the fuel pump. So, I know exactly how much fuel I need to get to where I need to go to. So, I won't overput fuel. And this plays effect with me, especially the ending of the pay period, the ending of the week. So, you won't put more fuel than you need because you don't want to have an extra three four hundred dollars taken out your check because of fuel when you did not need it it's simple so just say for example um let me see just say for example your your trip you have a 485 mile uh no <laughs> yeah 485 mile trip to do how much fuel do you need that's the first thing you need to ask yourself how much fuel is going to take to get to there and how heavy am i going to be and am i going through mountains or it's going to be flat land you need to ask yourself all of that before you even put fuel or um either put fuel or uh pick a load my next video is going to be about how to pick load so y'all stay in tune for that um so if you get to the, just say you get to the truck stop, you, I always keep my truck at a quarter tank, like I say, inside a joke. I ran out of fuel. If you didn't watch that, go watch it. Um, I always keep like a quarter tank. So that, that, that is like my reserve tank, I should say. If you have it at a quarter tank, that's your reserve tank. Every time you start a trip, you should have it at a quarter tank. So if you under that and you starting off, you end up putting more fuel to get over the quarter tank. They actually get what you need. So don't do that. So just say the trip is 485 miles there's two ways to do this so first one is 485 divided but all both things you're doing it with you always divide so say the fuel is at four dollars and fifty cents so i'm gonna do 485 divided into 4.50 oh zero equals that's going to give me 107 gallons to do that that load now if you want to get more precise on how much fuel you will need if you don't want to spend that much money because you probably don't need to if you're in the flatlands or whatever the case may be now if you know your truck this is this, this is where this part come in that's the more easiest way you put 107 gallons you're going to do the load regardless whether it's mountains whatever you're going to do the load because your mpg is going to fluctuate up and down now if you are more veteran in the game you know and you know your truck you know your mpg you know how it's going to run when you're in mountains if you know how um heavy you're going to be how your truck should run if you're more in tune with your truck you can do it this way so you can do i know i personally know how my truck runs um in mountains uh how heavy I'm going to be. I already know that. I know it for a fact. So what I would do is I would take two numbers and just find the number in between that. Uh, guesstimate. So say I know if this load going to be 25,000 pounds. I know my truck pulls um, 25,000 pounds like it's like my truck barely empty. You know, pull like it only got 7,000 pounds in it. 
so I know in the mountains, I'm going to be in and out through them real quick. I know if my load is 44,000 pounds, it's going to be slugging, going up a you know steep mountain. I know that. So with all that being said, I would do, sorry about that, my camera said that was the maximum time recording. But anyway, if my I, if I know my truck is at 25,000 pounds, I know it's how it's going to pull. Um, I know the MPG it should be at throughout the whole trip. Now you can go ahead and divide. Just say, I know my truck is going to be at uh, between 8. Just say, I'm going to just say 7. 7.5 MPG to 10. So I'm going to just go, and go ahead and go to 8.5. So you do that. 485 divided into 8.5. Which will give me 57 gallons. Now, in honesty, I'm going to just put a little bit more than that. I'm going to round it off like halfway because it's 107 with me doing it the other way. So I'm going to put a, I probably put 70 gallons in. 70 gallons. And if I still got gas fuel left over, you know, um, I'm going to just, I just round it off like that. Because you never know what's going to happen out there. You might have to stop at idle in the traffic or whatever the case may be. And if you do need to put more, it's probably not going to be more than, you know, um, more than a, probably a hundred more dollars just to get down the road or something like that. But the trick is to save money. You should know if your truck is getting low on fuel, you know, just try any of these methods out. Like, trust me, it's going to help you. It's going to help you. It might not work, be a hundred percent all the time, be different. You know, you running into different, um, uh, densities of the air all that stuff plays a big factor in um fuel like burning fuel you might be at you know way above sea level that it might burn a little bit more you know it, 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 everything plays a role so it's not a guaranteed a thousand percent sure that what i'm telling you you know what i'm saying is going to help every situation because you might not be and i'm i'm a band to tell you that i'm not gonna tell you yeah do this do this do this that and everything is going to work you might run into a situation you never know or your truck might be burning more fuel than it's supposed to because of a of a situation or a mechanical issue on your truck. So I don't 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 take me hundred percent. Don't come sue me talking about oh I ran out of fuel because of this this is that. Don't do that. You know your truck. You should know your truck. That's the goal. You know your truck. <laughs> uh yeah, I, I think that wraps it up because I don't that's all the things I've used to save fuel, man, because um like I say, you're your own boss, man. You got to figure out ways to save fuel. You got to figure out ways to, um, and if, it, yeah, you guys got to figure out ways to make you make more money. Nobody's going to really help you out. This game is real kind of shady out here, man. It's not uh, all drivers out here. You might see some, some drivers out here, you know, saying, showing out, you know, making it seem like they're making a whole lot of money when they're in the worst predicament than you. And now you feeling like, damn, I'm trying to be like them. No, don't try to be like them. Be like yourself, man. Be like yourself. Because there's a lot of drivers on here wasting their money on, you know, certain things. And just to look a certain way. Just for you to follow them. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to help you out as much as I can. So, my next video is going to be about... Uh, um, how to pick loads, how I pick loads. I say how to how to pick loads, how I pick loads. Everything, all the videos y'all see is going to be how I do things, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm going to come on here and say, this is the right way to do X, Y, and Z. Or this is the, I'm not going to do that. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. That just, this is how I do it. If you take little bits and pieces from how I do it and it works for you, by all means, I, you know what I'm saying? Just thank me. Keep it moving. I, I don't mind that. But um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop my next video. Um, I'm sitting here trying to, you know, think because there's a lot that I want to tell y'all, you know, and they'll only be having so much time, especially being on the road. Um, my little Wi-Fi thing be handling this business on far as uploading these long videos, but I don't want to burn it out too much. So I try to cram everything into one video um get all this good information to y'all um right now i'm in cali i'm about to go get a workout in that's why i got on this 
I use this to burn my sweat. As y'all can see, I done dropped so much weight in the past couple weeks. I ain't even got titties like that no more. I had man boobs coming out here on the road, man. But that's the next video. Y'all stay tuned, man. Um, smooth game. We out. See y'all again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, truckers and truckettes, man. We out of here. Thank you.